This is the story of Devo, a baby cool's pipistrelle, a type of Vespa bat whose scientific name is Pipistrellus coolii. Devo is an orphan. We're going to tell you about the first difficult months of his life, from the moment he fell out of his nest until he was old enough to look after himself. Our story takes place in Rome, but we could be anywhere in Italy, a land which is home to many species of Chiroptera bats, including the common pipistrelle, Savis pipistrelle, and the European free-tailed bat. Devo is just one day old. He fell probably because he slipped out of the refuge where several female cools pipistrelles had gathered to give birth. These refuges are called nurseries. Francesca found Devo in mid-June, the time when bats usually give birth to their young. She noticed him on her way home. So little Devo did have some luck, because someone found him and saved his life. The first few hours of life are always critical for young creatures. Devo badly needs someone to take care of him and protect him from danger. In this sort of situation, indifference is usually fatal to an animal in difficulties. Luckily, Francesca has found Devo, and she's determined to do all she can for the little lost bat. But let's get back to our Devo and his arrival at the Lipu Center. It's morning, and Alessandra is there to welcome Francesca and little Devo who has made it safe and sound through the night. Alessandra gives Devo a careful checkup and discovers that he's a cool's pipistrelle, a male and in good health. When she has completed her checkup, she fills in a form with the name of the person who brought him in, where he was found and his state of health. Devo needs a nest. A cardboard box like this will provide him with a temporary home. As he grows up, he'll move home several times. The box has a hole with netting like this over it. Inside is a nest of paper and material. We have to be careful to make sure there aren't any threads because they could be dangerous for him. The new arrival also has to be weighed and have his wings measured. It's important to collect scientific data when an animal is being brought up in captivity. Everything is carefully noted in Devo's records so his growth can be correctly monitored. His weight and measurements will be checked every day. Having found Devo his new home and measured his vital statistics, it's finally time for him to have something to eat. In fact, Devo's so hungry, he's sucking his wing, because sucking is a primary need for all newborn mammals. Which is why Alessandra Tomasini was the first in Italy to introduce a very efficient technique for feeding young bats with a specially constructed teat rather than a feeding tube. This technique was initially used in the USA in the Bat World Sanctuary. The teat is a simple sponge from a cosmetic kit which can be cut in two different ways. Only one type of sponge is suitable. It has to be soft and white so that it soaks up the milk. Now she's putting the teat into Devo's mouth and gently dropping some milk onto his lips. You have to 
be very careful when feeding young bats not to let any of the milk run into their eyes or ears because it could cause deadly infections. But this obviously isn't going to be a problem with young Devo, who's sucking away at his first meal with a hearty appetite. When bats are this young, you also have to be careful about how much milk you give them. But all you have to do to check is look at their tummies. He's so little that you can see his tummy full of milk through his skin. See? He only needs a tiny amount of milk to fill him up. Another advantage of this feeding technique is that the little bats get attached to their teats, giving them a sort of surrogate mother. When Devo's had enough, he spits the teat out and goes off into the warmth. Devo can't defecate or urinate on his own yet, so after he's eaten, he needs a massage with a cotton bud to help, at least for the first few days of his life, then he'll learn to do it on his own. <laughs> 